In cheese wizards, there are four types of wizards. Neutral wizards and three elemental wizards. Fire, water, and wind. All wizards can cast all spells, but elemental wizards have special strengths and weaknesses. They can cast extra strong attacks, also known as affinity attacks, but they also have a weakness against their opposite element. So fire wizards cast an extra strong fire attack, but take more damage when hit by a water attack. Water wizards cast an extra strong water attack, but take more damage when hit by a wind attack. Wind wizards cast an extra strong wind attack, but take more damage when hit by a fire attack. Neutral wizards don't have any stronger attacks, but also don't have any weaknesses. All wizards can pick one of three spells per round. Fire, water, or wind. And this is how they relate. Water attacks beat fire attacks. Fire attacks beat wind attacks. And wind attacks beat water attacks. This rule is valid in all duels, regardless of the wizard type or power. There are three types of hits in the game. The normal hit, affinity hit, and critical hit. A normal hit is when there is no extra strong attack or weakness involved. So when a fire spell from a water wizard hits a neutral wizard, for example. An affinity hit can be caused in two ways. The first case is when an extra strong attack hits a wizard. For example, when a fire spell from a fire wizard hits a neutral wizard. The second case is when the wizard receives a hit from a normal attack, but he is weak against it. For example, when a fire spell from a neutral wizard hits a wind wizard. The fire spell isn't extra strong, but since the wind wizards are weak against fire, the normal attack will also produce an affinity hit. And last but not least, the critical hit, the strongest in the game. This hit happens when an extra strong attack hits a wizard that is weak against that attack. For example, when a fire spell from a fire wizard hits a wind wizard. The duels are made of five rounds, and wizards cast one spell per round, with spells being cast in the order that they were forecast. Be aware that each round increases in importance and has more effect on the final result of the match. Therefore, a win in a later round is more valuable than a win in an earlier round. There are three possible results for each round. You can win the round by casting the spell effective against your opponent's spell. You lose the round if the opposite is true. Or you can draw the round if both wizards cast the same spell. In a normal duel, there are three possible results. You either win, lose, or tie. If you deal more damage than your opponent, you win the duel, and your wizard gains a portion of the losing wizard's power, proportional to your victory. If you and your opponent cast the same spells on all rounds, we have the unlikely event of a tie. If your wizard loses the duel, your opponent gains a portion of your power proportional to their victory. If you lose all your power, your wizard will be removed from the tournament. Your wizard will also be removed from the tournament if his power drops below the blue mold line after the duel. But just because your wizard is out of the tournament doesn't mean it's gone. Each wizard is a non-fungible token on the Ethereum blockchain which means it's yours to own forever. For more details, make sure to check out our FAQ on our website, cheesewizards.com. Go get yourself a wizard, and we'll see you in the tournament. Cheese Wizards.